station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. This week marks the beginning of Expedition 64. Two veteran International Space Station crew members swap command of the orbiting laboratory during a traditional change of command ceremony on October 20th. The six-member space station crew gathered together when Expedition 63 Commander Chris Cassidy of NASA ceremonially handed control of the station to Expedition 64 cosmonaut Sergei Rizikov of Roscosmos. We have this small tradition where there's a key to the International Space Station. It's a tool that we use on the Russian hatches to open and close the hatches. And it symbolizes the camaraderie that we have between our, all of the space agencies and uh, Sergey, it's with great pleasure and honor that I present you this key and command of the International Space Station. Congratulations. Rizikov officially began his command on October 21st when Cassidy and flight engineers Anatoly Ivanishin and Ivan Wagner undocked from the station. The crew undocked from the Poisk module inside the Soyuz MS-16 cruise ship re-entered the Earth's atmosphere just over three hours later and parachuted to a landing in Kazakhstan, bringing their 196-day space mission to an end. This week's question comes from Ridgedale Middle School. Students want to know if astronauts ever experience a language barrier while on board the International Space Station. A truly global endeavor, the unique microgravity laboratory has hosted 240 people from 19 countries, almost 3,000 experiments from over 4,200 researchers in more than 100 countries, and a variety of international and commercial spacecraft. Differences of nationality and culture, as well as being isolated for months at a time on the International Space Station can be demanding. Before astronauts travel into space, they are briefed on the cultural differences they may encounter with crew members from other countries. While English is the primary language spoken aboard the station, crews must also be proficient in the Russian language. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.